Every September 30th, people of all ages across Canada wear orange shirts to remember and honor Indigenous children who were made to attend residential schools. Why orange? Because of Phyllis Jack Webstad, who on her first day at St. Joseph Mission Residential School wore an orange shirt that her grandmother had given her. It was immediately taken away by a teacher. And that marked the beginning of Phyllis's long separation from her family and community, a separation caused by the church and the federal government. We wear orange to remember those events, their ongoing impact, and to call our leaders to account for the ongoing inequalities Indigenous children face. This past summer, we saw waves of orange shirts as First Nation communities shared with the rest of Canada the truth that they had always known, that there are children buried in unmarked graves on the sites of residential schools. These communities are now seeking to honor the missing children. This Orange Shirt Day is also the first observance of a National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. For settler Christians in particular, this is a time when we can reflect on our role in colonialism and the residential school system and our ongoing responsibility to make reparations. Every child matters on Orange Shirt Day and every day. May we never forget that. Will you pray with me? Creator God, see the shirts we're wearing this day. Their orange color bright and alive. Worn in remembrance of the indigenous children taken from their families and communities. Worn in remembrance of what they experienced at Canada's residential schools. Worn in remembrance of the children who returned changed. And the children who never returned, who died far away from their families. May the wearing be an act of honoring May the wearing be an act of remembering. May the wearing be a call to keep challenging ourselves and our leaders that we might find ways of reparation and live in right relations. We ask this in your name and in your love. Amen.